Okay, I'm gonna read the story and you are going to take notes. So if you need to pause right now, go ahead and pause and get some paper or pencil, um, paper and pencil to take notes. Okay, um, this is called The History of the Grapefruit. The origin of the grapefruit has been a puzzle to historians and pomologists or scientists who study fruit and nut trees for years. Although most citrus fruit seems to have originated in Southeast Asia, the grapefruit was obtained in the West Indies around the 1700s. The grapefruit was first described in 1750 by Griffith Hughes, who called it the forbidden fruit of Barbados. In 1789, Patrick Brown reported it as growing in most parts of Jamaica. He also referred to it as forbidden fruit or smaller shaddock. A shaddock is another type of citrus fruit that looks similar to a grapefruit, but is native to Southeast Asia. How did this type of citrus find its way to the island of Barbados? Much has been written about it, <clears throat> but legend has it that although grapefruit are no longer grown on a large scale on the island, it is there that a ship captain is reported to have left some shaddock seeds on his way back from the Pacific to England. Fruit of these trees were apparently naturally hybridized by pollen from a local orange tree and the first grapefruit was born. The name of the grapefruit reflects the fact that the tree grows its fruits in large clusters that resemble bunches of large grapes. By the end of the 18th century, grapefruit had spread to other Caribbean islands. Jamaica became the center of grapefruit cultivation in 1823, grapefruit made its way to the United States in the form of seeds brought by either Spanish or French settlers to Florida. When the seeds were planted and seedlings fruited, their seeds were distributed around the neighborhood of Safety Harbor near Tampa, Florida. At first, the tree was only grown as a novelty in Florida and the fruit was seldom used. Even in Jamaica, the trees were often cut down. It seemed that although the fruit was similar to that of other citrus, it had not caught on in popularity. The thick skin was unusual and the fruit was slightly bitter. However, in 1866, John A. McDonald settled in Orange County, Florida. In 1870, he came across a single grapefruit tree with clusters of lemon colored fruits on the property of a family named Drotty in Blackwater, Florida. He bought the entire crop of fruits and planted the seeds, thus establishing the first grapefruit nursery. The first grapefruit grove planted from this nursery was by a man named Hill. It was sold in 1875 to George W. Bowen, who developed it commercially. In 1881, McDonald brought the, the droughty crop again and once more raised seedlings for his nursery in Eustis. Early settlers began planting the trees and soon developed a taste for the bittersweet fruit. Because there was already a small demand in the north for the fruit, Florida started sending small shipments to markets in New York and Philadelphia between 1880 and 1885. To this day, Florida remains the grapefruit center of the world. Eventually, grapefruit made its way down to South Texas, most likely by visiting Spanish missionaries. By the late 1800s, grapefruit trees were being cultivated in the southern part of Texas. The first reported planting of a, gro of a grove in Texas was 1893. John H. Sherry, a developer originally from Omaha, Nebraska, was so impressed by the small crop raised by early citrus experimenters that he believed citrus would be the crop of the future for Texas. Sherry, also known as the father of the citrus industry, combined his interest in growing citrus with the latest irrigation techniques and a determination to sell valley citrus commercially. In 1914, he brought 16,000 acres of brush land and after clearing it, proceeded to grow his first crop of seeded white grapefruit. Although originally there were doubts about the success of grapefruit growing in Texas climate, the grapefruit succeeded in the Rio Grande Valley of Texas, as well as in Arizona and California. The first commercial shipment of citrus packed in onion crates left the lower Rio Grande Valley of South Texas in 1920. In that growing season, approximately 120 tons of grapefruit were shipped from Texas. The pink grapefruit and other varieties were developed during this time. In Jamaica, the grapefruit was crossbred with the tangerine to produce the 
ugly, pronounced ugly, fruit which is a bit sweeter than the grapefruit. In 1929, a Texas citrus grower discovered a mutated red grapefruit going, growing on a pink grapefruit tree, which gave rise to the Texas red grapefruit industry. In the late 1920s and early 1930s, red, um, red, redder bud mutations were found in numerous groves. Each new grapefruit variety was given the name of the owner of the grove in which it was found. With so many different names and varieties of red grapefruit being shipped commercially, keeping track of it soon became a problem. All the red varieties of fruit started being marked under the name Ruby. The Ruby Red Grapefruit was the first grapefruit to be granted a U.S. patent. After freezes in 1949, 1951, and 1962, Texas eliminated its white and pink varieties and began to promote the growth of red grapefruit. During the 1970s, several more mutations were found on ruby red trees that produced even redder fruit than before. Again, each finding took the name of the owner who discovered it. Dr. Richard Hentz of the Texas A&I Research or Citrus Center spent many years in the laboratory working to produce the reddest variety of grapefruit possible. In 1970, the Star Ruby variety was released. In 1984, he released the Rio Red variety. With so many red varieties and so many names, the industry was once again faced with the problem. To ease confusion, new categories had to be formed. The Texas Sweet Red Grapefruit, a superior tasting grapefruit, needed to be distinguished from the other grapefruit on the market. Texas Sweet Red Grapefruit now have two registered trademark categories, Ruby Sweet and Rio Star. The Ruby Sweet category includes the famous Ruby Red and the other redder varieties, including the Henderson and Ray. Its smooth yellow skin is naturally tinged with a reddish blush and an interior color three to five minutes redder than the original Ruby Red. The Rio Star category combines the two reddest varieties, Rio Red and Star Ruby Grapefruit. It has an overall blush of the exterior peel and the deep red interior color, which is seven to 10 times redder than the Ruby Red. These developments of the sweeter, more delicious varieties have enabled the grapefruit to become widely known and popular across the nation. As a relatively new food, the grapefruit has made great advances in the past 75 years. Grapefruit is customarily a breakfast fruit, chilled, cut in half, and the sections loosened from the peel and each other by, by a special curved knife. Some consumers sweeten it with white or brown sugar or a bit of honey. Eaten as an appetizer before dinner, some chefs have been known to sweeten, lightly broil, and serve a grapefruit hot and topped with a maraschino cherry. Grapefruit sections are used in fruit cups, fruit salads, puddings, jellos, and tarts. The juice is marketed as a beverage, fresh, can dehydrated, concentrated, and frozen. Grapefruit pill is candied and sold as a novelty. The inner pill is a source of pecadin and citric acid. Both are used by the food industry in the preservation of other fruits and making jams and marmalades. The pill oil is often used in the soft drink flavoring. Nerogen, also extracted from the grapefruit pill, gives tonic cream and various ices. Grapefruit seed oil is dark and very bitter. However, if it is bleached and refined, it is very similar to olive oil and can be used in much the same way. Because it is an unsaturated fat, production of grapefruit seed oil has been on the rise since 1960. In 1970, consumption of the grapefruit rose temporarily because of a widely promoted grapefruit diet, which claimed to help the dieter lose 10 pounds in 10 days. In 1983, the U.S. Department of Agriculture Marketing Service reported that among fresh fruits and vegetables consumed in New York, grapefruit was exceeded only by potatoes, lettuce, oranges, and apples. Thanks to the ever-increasing popularity of the grapefruit, Texas citrus growers are constantly working to meet the demand. In fact, Texas produces over 27,000 acres of citrus fruit every year. Except during major freezes and the recovery from them, the Texas citrus industry annually produces more tonnage, about 80% of which is grapefruit, than any other tree fruits and nuts in Texas combined. Because of this and the quality and importance of Texas red seedless grapefruit, the legislature in 1993 designated red grapefruit as the state fruit of Texas.